Today I'm going to show you how to change the color of instance based in any axis, X, Y, Z, and how to do all these animations with Geometry Nodes. So let's see it. Let's get the camera, the light, go to Geometry Nodes. Let's create a new profile. And we are going to add a curve line connected here. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is to add, for example, minus one, one positive, and zero. So we have this line in X axis. Now let's convert it to instance on points with instance on points. And let's select cubes. Just for example, let's make it smaller. And I want to see more cubes. So I'm going to add here, resample curve. Something like that, but I'm going to make it smaller. So a little smaller, something like this. Perfect. Now let's select the material view so we can see the colors. And really important, let's add here set material. And let's select the default material. Okay, so we have this number of cubes. Actually, I'm going to make nine because I want one in the middle. And now let's open a new tab and select the shade editor. Press N to hide this. And basically what I want is to add different colors in these cubes from left to right. So what we need is to bring object info because this node have the info of this object and we need to use location to have access to the three axes. So first of all, we need to use separate axis. We connect it here and now we decide which axis we want to use. Now we are working with the right one. So I'm going to select this one, X, and connect it here. And now you can see that it's black here and here white. And between 0 and 1, we have this gray scale. And if you want to move these colors, we need to add here a math node in add. And now if we press 0, we have the same. And if we increase this, basically what we are doing, as you can see, is moving this gradient. So if we select one, now here we have the poor white and here the poor black. Okay, now how we change the color? Really easy. We need to add here, after this, a gradient. So let's add a color ramp. Now it's the same. And if we want to change the color, let's just select some colors. For example, I'm going to select the yellow. And in the middle, for example, red. And here, blue. So with this setup, we are using the location of this group of instance, this object, because remember, it's a single object, but we have different instance. And we are using X to add a color ramp. And thanks to this, we can displace these colors. So remember, if I select zero, basically, the first color, so this one, this one, remember, is zero, is here. And the positive x is in the right. So, so we have this direction that is positive x, right? So remember, zero is here, and this is one. So basically, all this gradient goes from here to here. And thanks to this, we can displace this gradient. So let's move it, for example, to the left, just increasing this value. Because if I select one, basically what I'm saying is in the middle, I want this number, one. So this is how you move the colors. And after one, all is blue. Or below zero, all is the same color, so yellow. Okay, so now you know how to add these colors and how to create this animation. Just animating this value in add, you can add keyframes to create this animation. And remember, you can add as many colors as you want. Now, how we can, for example, distribute all this gradient from here to here. To do this, what we have to do is to add before add a math node in multiply. So let's make a copy and select 
multiply. And now we need to select a value more or less between 0 and 1. So if we have 1, it's the same because multiply it by 1 is like not doing anything. And if we increase this, basically what we're doing is compressing the colors, as you can see. So we have to decrease this number. And you will see that the gradient is wider. However, now it's going there, so let's move it a bit here. And basically what I want is have here yellow and here blue. So I almost got it. So let me push it a bit. And if I decrease this, I'm having more and more variety of colors. So more or less, I think this number, or more or less, you have to try. As you can see now, I have all these colors distribute from here to here. And a little trick, if you want to animate this, repeating the colors, then you have to add here, after that, let's make a copy of this, fraction. This helps you to repeat these colors. So now, when we increase this, it's going to appear here, the first color, as you can see right now. I'm going to increase this, and it's repeating the colors. So we can create this really cool effect. I just add some notes so it's easier to understand. And if you want to make it in other axis, so let's delete this and select, for example, zero and select one positive, zero and one negative. So now let's use height. So what we have to do is basically select here Z. And now we have the same. So if I select, for example, zero, so we have the same, we can animate this based in height. Remember now I have this looping, if not, just disable this. And when you increase this number, remember, we reach the maximum. So if I select zero, the first color will be here, zero. And if we select one, we are saying that we want the last color here. So this one. And thanks to this, we can animate the colors based in high. And now you can start playing with different shapes and geometries. For example, let's delete this line, make a copy of this, connect it here, make it bigger, something like this, add more vertices, so we have more instance. I want to see through the different instance, perfect. And now I can animate here the position, the location of the colors, of the gradient. And remember, if I want to loop this, I just need to able fraction. And I can create this really cool effect. For example, what we can do also is to use a grid. So let's connect it here, make it bigger, something like this, add more vertices, for example, like this. And now I want to create a displacement in Z. So let's use set position, a nice texture. Really important, we need to isolate the z-axis, so let's use combine and select z, so we can control this displacement. I'm going to select zero on scale, and we shift, increase it a little bit. So we have this wave. And now what we can do to see the colors is to go, for example, here and decrease this number. Or just increase it, if you don't remember. And now we can see different colors based in height. So if we try to animate this, selecting 4D and increasing this value, we have this really cool effect. We can do is to, for example, increase this more and add more vertices or just decrease the size of the cubes, something like this. And you can play with these values to do this, or you can move this if you want, because remember, we are looping these colors. So look how cool is this effect. And you can play, remember, with amplitude. If you want to show more colors, then increase this a lot, or just decrease it if you want to see less colors.
And if you want to make this higher, then you need to increase the amplitude of this with a math node and select multiply. And if you increase this, you're increasing this amplitude, as you can see. And now we can see more variety of colors. I could leave a range like that, for example, trying to see all the colors from the bottom to the top. So the bottom should be yellow. Let's see if we can get yellow here. And we need to, sometimes we need to spend some time to get back this. Or what we can do, let's move this here. So let me displace this here with add and more or less I think is in the middle and now let's try to get this gradient from the bottom to the top so more or less we have it now in the bottom yellow in the top blue you can displace this a bit if you want and decrease this more to have more variety. So now, more or less, more or less, in the bottom is yellow and in the top blue. And if we animate here, remember, we can create this really cool effect. Or just here with fraction. By the way, I forgot that when we add this, so let me mute this. So remember, we have this, and if you want to scale it, then this is being displaced. And you can add this to get back the position. But I always forget that if you want, you don't need to use an extra node. I'm going to delete it. So to get back this, just disable normalize. And now you can see that we get back the original position. So you have more control with this. And also, if you put this view, so a lateral view, you can see better the range color. So here it will be easier to move the gradient. So for example, I recommend you to select the middle color, so 0 0.5 in the middle. And now with the amplitude, increase or decrease. So if you increase, we are compressing the colors, and if we decrease, we are expanding the colors. So try to expand the colors with the minimum and maximum height that you have. So later, when we see this view, you can see more instance with all the colors of the gradient. And now, if we animate this, we have this really cool effect. And remember, you can animate this with a same time and press play. And if it's too high, then just decrease this. And now I should readjust this. So let's make it again. For example, something like that. I can see the blue, I can see the yellow. So perfect, we have all the colors. So I hope you learned something new. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.